Hi there my dear followers So I'm moth strapping today and today I can tell you something about the family Crumby Day because uh, I was thinking that some people have to recognize certain families of Lepidoptera and are wondering how to recognize them um, The Crumby Day are a large family of moths and they are recognizable for their typical shape like this. The moths are very triangular looking often and rest in a very typical position with their antenna folded or raised over their head like this one. They have uh, slender wings and uh, usually sharp sharp and uh, pointy body and their forelegs and legs often stick out uh, of their body in a unique way. Here you have some more Krambidae. Just to give you a good impression of this moth family. All the moths I collected here in this little box are the Krambidae's, just so that you may recognize them. And their typical shape here is also a Krambidae. Do you see the similarities? They have somewhat of a diamond shape if you get my drift Crambidae are classified as Microlepidoptera. That means that officially they are micro moths. And because of that, I do not know too much about them. Since I usually work and study macro moths. But oh, here we have a very nice Crambidae. See? See, check, see the very long legs that stick out. The antenna folded behind his, uh, his body, the typical slender wings and the triangular shape. Typical Grambide there. You know, until today I never really had a lot of respect for Microlepidoptera. But seeing their diversity today is pretty nice. This is this uh, rich, richly patterned, uh, well, I think it's a Krambidae, right? And these Krambidae guys seem to be quite ukubicious here. As you can see they are here in all shapes and sizes. Hi everyone and thanks for watching. 
My name is Bart Koppens, a traveling entomologist from the Netherlands. Working with moths used to be my hobby, but thanks to my exposure on YouTube and social media, it became my job. Thank you for following my travels in Laos and Cambodia, which is part of the video series that you are watching now. This is the outro video, so skip ahead to the next episode if you like. I would just like to remind all of you to like and subscribe, and consider joining my crowdfunding platform. Because as, as an independent entomologist, crowdfunding enables me to do independent work on insects and improve my YouTube channel. So if you are willing and able, please consider joining. And otherwise I would like to say thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insects and moths. Bye.